welcome to another edition of A to Q. It's pork okay to eat. The pig or swine is a very popular food item with most Christians. Yet Christians are either unaware or choose to ignore that the God they profess to believe in had condemned the eating of swine's flesh. The condemnation was based on some very sound biological principles. Here are some facts on pork that prove it to be a very unhealthy food to eat. A pig is a real garbage gut. It will eat anything including urine, excrement, dirt, decaying animal flesh, maggots, or decaying vegetables. They will even eat the cancerous growths of other pigs or animals. The meat and fat of a pig absorbs toxins like a sponge. Their meat can be 30 times more toxic than beef or venison. When eating beef or venison, it takes 8 to 9 hours to digest the meat so what little toxins are in the meat are slowly put into our system and can be filtered by the liver. But when pork is eaten, it takes only 4 hours to digest the meat. We thus get a much higher level of toxins within a shorter time. Unlike other mammals, a pig does not sweat or perspire. Perspiration is a means by which toxins are removed from the body. Since a pig does not sweat, the toxins remain within its body and in the meat. Pigs and swine are so poisonous that you can hardly kill them with strychnine or other poisons. Farmers will often pin up pigs within a rattlesnake nest, because the pigs will eat the snakes, and if bitten they will not be harmed by the venom. When a pig is butchered, worms and insects take to its flesh sooner and faster than to other animals' flesh. In a few days the swine flesh is full of worms. Swine and pigs have over a dozen parasites within them, such as tapeworms, flukes, worms, and trichinae. There is no safe temperature at which pork can be cooked to ensure that all these parasites, their cysts, and eggs will be killed. Pig meat has twice as much fat as beef. A 3-ounce T-bone steak contains 8.5 grams of fat. A 3-ounce pork chop contains 18 grams of fat. A 3-ounce beef rib has 11.1 grams of fat. A 3-ounce pork spare rib has 23.2 grams of fat. Cows have a complex digestive system, having four stomachs. It thus takes over 24 hours to digest their vegetarian diet causing its food to be purified of toxins. In contrast, the swine's one stomach takes only about 4 hours to digest its foul diet, turning its toxic food into flesh. The swine carries about 30 diseases which can be easily passed to humans. This is why God commanded that we are not even to touch their carcass. Leviticus 11.8 the trichiny worm of the swine is microscopically small, and once ingested can lodge itself in our intestines, muscles, spinal cord or the brain. This results in the disease trichinosis. The symptoms are sometimes lacking, but when present they are mistaken for other diseases, such as typhoid, arthritis, rheumatism, gastritis, MS, meningitis, gallbladder trouble, or acute alcoholism. The pig is so poisonous and filthy that nature had to prepare him a sewer line or canal running down each leg with an outlet in the bottom of the foot. Out of this hole oozes pus and filth his body cannot pass into its system fast enough. Some of this pus gets into the meat of the pig. There are other reasons grounded in biological facts that could be listed to show why pigs and swine should not be eaten. But a true Christian should only need one reason why not to eat this type of food, because God prohibits it. And the swine, because it divides the loof, yet does not chew the cud, it is unclean unto you, you shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. Leviticus 117.8, Deuteronomy 14.8 those who say Christ abolished the law condemning pork are motivated by their stomach, not scripture. The problems with pork are biological, and Christ never changed the laws of biology. Genesis 9.3 Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the green herb have I given you all things. Now does this say that we should eat 
everything. Is this, is this what the scripture is saying? Let's examine further. Before the flood, God gave no permission for man to eat the flesh of animals. The original diet laid down in Genesis 1, 29 and 3.18 consisted of nuts, fruits, grains, and vegetables. This order of things prevailed until after the flood. Then because of vegetation had been destroyed by the flood, God allowed the use of flesh food for the first time. It was for the purpose that the clean animals had been taken into the ark by sevens and the unclean by twos. Read in Genesis 7, 1 and 2. Most Christians believe it to be saying that he used to take two by two. As every song is sung, that Noah took two by two when God said, take seven clean and two unclean. So therefore, Noah had prior knowledge of what was clean and unclean. And you can read that in Genesis 7, 1 and 2. Even though Genesis 9, 3 seems to be an unrestricted permit to eat any kind of animal, please note that it was not without limits. God said, even as the green herb, have I given you all things in the same way that God had given vegetation. So now he gave flesh, but all vegetation was not good to eat. There were weeds and poisonous plants that could not be eaten. In the same way, God proceeded soon afterward. Read in Leviticus chapter 11. To show that certain animals were not good for food and should definitely not be eaten. It is also interesting to note that this instruction was given to Noah immediately after leaving the ark. Since it takes two, both male and female, to propagate a species and only two of each unclean animal were saved in the ark, it is certain that God did not give license to eat the unclean animals. If he had, the unclean species would have been exterminated and none would exist today. So my question it is, are you obeying your stomach or are you obeying God? So are you obeying man or are you obeying God? God does not change. Thanks for watching this video. As always, I stand by the word. God bless.